Hello, in this tutorial we are going to achieve uh, this uh, CSS portfolio grid effect. See, if I click on the, the first grid, the information of the first grid is showing on the second grid. So, see if I click on the second grid, the information is showing on the third grid. So, if I click on the third grid, the information is showing on the middle grid, that is second grid. So, we are going to achieve this effect using only CSS and HTML. Before wasting time, let's start the project. So, I'm going to create folder on the desktop CSS portfolio and I'm going to open Visual Studio Code Editor. So, I'm going to import that CSS portfolio folder into Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to create two folders, one for CSS and sorry, and another for images. And I'm going to create one more uh, file that is index.html. So I'm going to take basic by the title of HTML and I'm going to give title HTML CSS portfolio grid. HTML and CSS portfolio grid. Now I am going to add HTML tag. This is heading tag. Now I am going to open live server. I'm, I have installed live server which is live server the author is Rithvik Day so please go on install and reload the Visual Studio code now I am going to the HTML page and I am going to hit Control shift P and I am going to type live server so if I, if I select and hit enter see live server is automatically started for me so if I change any anything on the HTML page for example instead of tag if I if I replace with element and if I say so this will I mean the live server is going to reload the page automatically without manual reloading in this tutorial, we are going to write HTML markup code for the CSS portfolio grid. So, I have an image folder and we will find this image folder in the resource section. Go on, go on download. And I am going to copy these all images inside the image folder and I am going to the CSS portfolio folder. And I'm going to image folder inside the CSS portfolio uh, folder and I'm going to paste all the nine images. You will get the images from one to nine. So now I'm going to write HTML markup. So I'm going to remove this h1 tag. Now I'm going to write code. I'm going to write, I'm going to take D with the class name main and inside the main I am going to take one more div called main sorry container so inside container I am going to take one more div the class of class name of grid so inside the grid I am going to write heading track heading section this one 
heading one so i'm going to take a tag and the class class is heading and inside head a tag i'm going to take span and i'm going to write some text that is heading one so after a tag i'm going to write html markup for this detail section so i'm going to take d with the class name details and i'm going to take a tag and the class name is close and i'm an x for closing this a tag is for closing this is for just closing this detail section now i am going to take h2 tag this is one and i am going to take p tag i am going to paste some lorem ipsum inside the p tag so now you got the grid one i'm going to clean up the code so now you got one grid so if i save and if i go to the page you will see something like this so i'm going to copy this grid and before copying i'm going to uh give id for this detail that is id one and also this id should match to this id so i'm going to give the href hash one this should always match this uh detail section id so now i'm going to copy this grid and I'm going to paste and I'm going to change this uh, 1 to 2 and 2 and 2 and I'm going to paste one more time this is this is actually three, three, and three, and I'm going to paste nine times. Copy one. This is four, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So if I save. If I right click on format document so it will give you something like this it will format automatically and three and just this is where we need we should we should change it from this is two this is three and this this is four just hit alt double double click on three and change to four same for the next section alt 3 3 to 5 and 3 alt 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 and this is 6 and alt press alt select double by double double clicking and this is 7 This is sorry, this is seven. This is eight, and this is this is nine. 
if i say one check the mark up you will see one two three four five six seven eight and nine in the next section we are going to add images to this grid systems now in this tutorial we are going to add images to the grid each grid so i'm going to the first grid and i'm going to add inline style style is equal to background style is equal to background image colon url and single quotation inside that images slash image one dot jpeg so if, if i add and if i save and if i check the see the background image has been added to the section one so we can do same thing for grid system 2 also and this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 and this is 6 and this is 7 and this is 8th grid and the image is 8th and this is image is img9 so if I save If I save and if I check, if I refresh, nothing happened. Let me check. Okay. I forgot to add double quotation. Sorry. Yeah, done. Now if I save and if I check, see the image, all images has been added to the respective div, but they are repeated. We can fix it, this repeating using CSS in the upcoming lectures. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you. In this lecture, we are going to uh, code CSS. We are going to style this entire grid using CSS so before that sorry for this before in this previous in this demo example it was showing so JavaScript for absolute uh, beginners now I have changed this title to HTML and CSS sorry for that if you have noticed and so I have one typo here that is not this is actually container so this is actually container so now we are going to add CSS to this HTML. Now I'm going to take style.css page and I'm going to add, I'm going to link the CSS using link this CSS slash style.css. So there is nothing in this. So if I give body background color purple, you can check see the purple has been added. This means this uh, CSS is working. So if you go to the view source and you can, if you click so 
clips is loading CSS. Now we are going to style this grid. So now I am going to before before that I am going to add I'm going to reset entire elements margin zero and padding zero. So this will remove some margin and padding to the all HTML element. So now I'm going to take HTML height hundred percent. Okay, so now I'm going to add body so I'm using CSS matic dot com slash gradient generator so if you go to this URL I'm going to add I'm going to generate gradient CSS using this and I'm going to add it to the body so so remove I'm going to click on this so, so the first color is the first color code is 8c 00ff 8c 00ff and the middle code is jtf 0072 and the final code is the last code is 8c 00ff so you can generate you can add whichever style you wish but i'm going to add this style to the body so I'm going to hit on Alt Z so it will be a wrap inside the editor. So I'm going to save. I'm going to check. So it's not so showing. So now I'm going to style grid. So before that, I'm going to take some margin. So I'm going to style for main. And the margin top is margin top I'm taking margin top is 40 pixel so if you see okay so now I'm going to style container dot container and width is 900 pixel and margin 0 auto to center grid and I'm going to add I'm going to style for grid now so grid okay grid and the, it is position relative and width is 33.33% and float left and floating everything left float left and height is 200 pixel 200 pixel and color is white color that is FFF so you if I save and if I check, you will see something happened. So something happened to this page. So style is applied to the grid. So in, in the next section, we are going to style for the details on this heading section. Heading 1 and the details section. In this lecture, we are going to style grid, 
grid and title section so I'm going to style now we have we have added style for the grid and the container as well as the body now I'm going to add the style for this uh, a tag which is having class heading and the detail section so now I'm going to so now this grid is position absolute now I am going to take heading a dot sorry this is a dot heading now I am going to add I am going to position it absolute absolute so if I position absolute I and the width is 100% and the height is obviously the height of the parent grid is 200 pixel to make it center I'm going to take line height so that everything the text will be centered so line height is 200 pixel and text align is center and text decoration text decoration which is the underline of that a tag is none so this underline of this there is underline for this a tag we are going to remove using text decoration none and color is white triple f and the font size is and the font size 24 pixel and z index since it's absolute where I'm going to use z index is 1 and border 1 pixel solid and the code is ccc triple c which is somewhat gray color so now I'm going to save this and if I refresh see so for time being I'm going to add this panel to this grid system so for sorry this grid line so that you can see the heading of the data tag so it's display none now you can see this a tag now it's center so I want it to be aligned at the bottom of the each grid so I'm going to add I'm going to style it for this span tag now we have style for this heading a tag heading class now we are going to style for this span tag so and now I'm going to take a dot heading space span so we are going to style the children of this a tag the padding is 8 pixel so I'm going to add border that is 2 pixel solid white triple F and background color and the background color is RG BA the code is 103 9 103 comma 9 comma 9 comma 0.4 this is color and this is opacity 0.4 is opacity and I'm going to add position relative to this position relative so that I will get the access to the top left bottom and right property so I'm going to so now if you check this is still there but some style has been added to that a tag instead of the a tag a style is added to that span tag instead of that a tag so I'm going to give the top value to 65 pixel if you check see now it's aligned to the bottom 
so now I am going to style for that detail section so now I am going to I am going to remove this display none and I am going to give position absolute absolute for details so since uh, grid has position relative so if I give position absolute everything will be uh, managed inside this grid system so I'm going to give position absolute and now the width is sorry the width width is 100% and the height is 100% so on the texture line is text align center so I want all the text should be centered aligned and a background color is and the background color is some it's like it's 27 the color is ash 27 2727 and the color is white triple f and the font size is 15 pixel and the opacity now I'm giving one so opacity one and the z index is zero and I'm going to give top values top zero and as well as left value left value is zero so now I'm going to add transition for some smooth animation transition that is all 500 ms is in out is in out so I'm going to add extension that is webkit most I'm adding this for the browser compatibilities and wo and ms the final one is ms so if I save if I refresh you see you can see the styles has been added to this grid system so now I'm going to style uh, for this uh, for this uh, closing button so now I'm going to add a dot so dot details so this is a chain a dot close and I'm going to add so color white and margin right margin margin right that is 15 pixel so if I say you will see so styles are the browser is uh, reloading automatically and the margin top is 5 pixel and text align now you see the text align is now right and it is display block so this is display block if I save you should give display block at the beginning of the code you should first set to display block if I save see the close button has been moved to the right so so we are going to style the rest of the uh, sections in the next lecture thank you in this lecture we are going to style this uh, this h2 tag as well as this paragraph as well as this arrow button this is the slight arrow button so I'm going to style for that h2 tag so now I'm going to add style that is details h2 
and the color I'm going to give white and I'm going to give margin top slightly 5 pixel okay you can see the margin top is 5 pixel now I'm going to style the P tag inside the detail I will, I will show you we are style for this h2 tag now we are, we are going to style for this p tag okay yes details space p and i'm going to give margin top that is zero pixel and i'm going to give padding padding is 20 pixel and 15 pixel and if I say we'll see see the changes okay now I'm going to give box sizing box sizing and this is border box this is not a content box this is a border box I'm taking and the text align is center and color is white if I say we will see so for time being in okay let it this head one there only so I'm going to I'm going to style this arrows this arrows so okay so whenever I click on this grid one so you should point to that grid one and the detail section should be shown on the grid 2 that is the next section if the next section is not available it should show the show the grid, uh, detail section in the previous grid for example for if i click on third grid it will show show, show the detail section in the previous section which is 2 grid 2 so now i'm going to style that arrows so first see for the first the first for the first and second grids the arrow is is left side of the detail section if you check the uh, for the uh, grid uh, 3 which is 1 2 3 1 2 3 so see the arrow so, uh, arrow is shown on the right side of the grid detail section so we need to achieve using the css nth child this is pseudo child elements in the CSS3. We, we are going to achieve this using the nth child property. So now I am going to style add, add this arrow to the sections 1 heading 1 heading 4 and as, as well as heading 7. So if I go I am going to add dot grid and I'm going to take nth child and the 3n plus 1 so this is I'm 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 targeting I'm I'm selecting these three elements these three grids so 3n plus 1 targets heading 1 heading Oh, sorry this is heading 1 and the uh, one to heading 4 as well as heading 7 so i am going to now i am going to select the detail section so we are going we are going to add that arrow button to the detail section not to the grid details and i am taking i am accessing the pseudo element before so now i am going to take I'm giving position absolute and I'm going to give content for time being I'm giving hello so you will see and top is zero and the left is zero if I give 
you will see something hello as hello text is shown on the grid one four on the seven so i'm going to change this left to minus 10 pixel okay so now i'm going to add width so i'm going to remove this hello so i'm going to add width property width is zero and the height is zero and i'm going to add border top border top is 10 pixel solid transparent i'm going to add border bottom and 10 pixel solid transparent so i'm going to access now border right border right and 10 pixel solid and the color is and solid and the color code is b72 one to one p b7 to one to one so i have added extra colon going to remove for the border bottom if i save you will see the arrow has been shown to the section one four and seven so now i'm going to and I'm going to target next section that is 2, 5, and 8. So, so if I sorry, if I go and if I'm going to access 3 and plus 2, what it will do? It will give the access to these grids 2, 5, and 8. So, if I save, you will see arrows has been added. I have just changed, replaced 1 with, a, with 2. So, now I am going to access uh, 3, 6, and 9. I am going to access this these sections now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it below so this is 3 obviously this is 3 but I so for this for this two the arrow mark has been added to left left side of the uh, detail section but we need to the right side so whenever we click on the third uh, click on the grid it will show it will point to the right side and the detail section as will, will show on the uh, center grid so now i'm going to change this border instead of the left i'm going to just change it to right so it will push to the right something like that yes now what we have to do we have to translate transfer this we need to rotate we need to rotate that see it's not looking good we need to rotate 180 degree 180 degree if i save you will see now the everything is perfect everything is perfect now we are going to add like whenever we click on this this effect should happen so we are going to achieve this effect in the next lecture so thank you in this lecture we are going to add the click effect to the each grid so now i am going to so Now I'm going to give opacity 
zero for the detail section so everything will be yeah the all the content will be hidden using the opacity so see if i change it to one all the content will show if i give it to zero see even the transition effect also added so it's taking five seconds to fade out and fade in it's giving the fade out and fade in effect see observe so if i give one and say so it's it's somewhat giving fade in fade out effect if i give zero see okay now we are going to add that click effect so whenever i click detail section should show on the next grid so now i'm going to target this one two one sorry this one so i'm going to change this bit confusing okay so i'm going to the html so this is like this is one and this is two and this is three this is four this is a ding four and this is a ding five and this is a ding six and this is a ding uh, seven and this is a ding eight and this is a ding nine so if i say see all the addings name has been changed okay so now i'm going to sorry now i'm going to code this adding other click effect i'm going to add that click effect using the pseudo element target so i'm going to add that effect using pseudo selector sorry that is pseudo selector target so target so so now i want to um, give that effect to heading one heading four and heading heading seven so i'm going to select as we did for the that arrow as we did for that arrow styling so i'm going to take that I'm going to select this grids that is heading one, heading four, and heading seven. So I'm going to add details, details da colon targets. So whenever I give, it will give that access to the target of the details section. So this is a pseudo element. Whenever I click on that, so firstly I should give opacity one. So if I say, if I click on this, you will see is showing is showing the content so showing the content for this line this is for a one four and seven so whenever i click i should uh, show this detailed section on the next grid so how to achieve that so i just have to do so if i go and if i inspect now if you see the left it doesn't have okay now left is zero so if i give it 100 percent it will move to the next section so since opacity is where is that opacity okay i just need to change it to one see it's moving somewhere here okay it's changing everything so i'm going to reload sorry i'm just going to give left 100 percent so it will only give this left 100 percent to these three grids and i'm going to give z index as well nine three double nine and if i save okay see now it is showing the detail section on the next grid see now you can close also So whenever you close see it's refreshing so you i don't want that so we can fix that later now you are getting this effect 
so I'm going to do same for the these sections so whenever I click on this it should show uh, uh, the detail section on the next grids okay so now I'm going to change this to okay if I say if you see if I click on this say and since we have given this transition to the detail section this is transition all 500 is in is out just giving somewhat good effect like see this is giving like sliding away from the grid this kind of thing it's nice so I'm going to target so same thing as we did uh, for the this thing instead of instead of left I'm going to minus 100 so whenever I give minus 100 it will come instead of going that side it will come this side so I'm giving I have given so left 100 so it's giving is going the right side of that particular grid and if I give a uh, left minus 100 percent it will give the left side it will give opposite effect to that uh, details section so if I go and if I save so okay what happened sorry I, I didn't change instead of two we need to give three okay now if I click on this see you got this effect finally yeah so if, if if i click on this close that particular section details section is closing this is nice so we have achieved this effect only using html and css now i am going to style for that close so i'm just where the dot close is there so i'm going to give okay I'm going to give ash for this all href so it will not refresh the page okay this is okay this is done okay this is really good now I want to remove this un underline for this extract so for that I, I have to do extract close I just need to give text decoration text decoration none okay so I need to add to the line number 74 Okay, line number 74. Okay. Okay. So, so whenever we float something inside this container, see I have floated so all the grid classes. So I just need to clear this grid section. So where is the container? So this is a container. So as you know, we need to clear this. I'm just going to give div and the style is clear both. So whenever we give now, if, if I select, you can see. So now I'm going to add box shadow to that this container box shadow to that container so I'm going to add the box shadow box shadow zero pixel zero pixel 35 pixel and 8 pixel and the color is zero 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 six zeros so you will see some box area has been added so I don't know why this margin top okay 
sorry for the typo i just need to give 40 pixel not 40 okay if i save now see we have achieved that effect this we have achieved this interactive uh, css portfolio grid effect so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know i would love to answer your questions thank you thank you for watching my tutorial